House Republicans voted by a thin margin to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas over his handling of the U.S.-Mexico border. This is the first time that the House has impeached a cabinet member since 1876. And Natalie Brand explains what happens next. On this vote, the yeas are 214 and the nays are 213. The resolution is adopted. By just one vote, House Republicans impeached Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas after their effort failed last week. Last night we proved to America that we can win when we work together and actually uh, hold Democrats accountable. According to their articles of impeachment, the Homeland Security Secretary's high crimes and misdemeanors include a willful and systemic refusal to comply with border law. In a statement after the vote, President Biden warned history will not look kindly on House Republicans for what he called their blatant act of unconstitutional partisanship. The effort now heads to the Democratic-controlled Senate. If they move forward with an impeachment trial, Mayorkas is all but certain to be acquitted and remain in his role. A trial would put the political fight over the southern border on full display and adds to the clash over a $95 billion foreign aid package for Ukraine, Israel and the Indo-Pacific that the Senate passed Tuesday with bipartisan support. I don't understand what the Republicans are doing. Uh, they just keep blowing up any deal that uh, comes forward. House Speaker Mike Johnson is demanding border security be a part of the aid package. The Republican-led House will not be jammed or forced into passing a foreign aid bill that was opposed by most Republican senators and does nothing to secure our own border. Those provisions had been in the Senate bill but were removed last week when a number of Republican lawmakers said they were not strict enough. Natalie Brand reporting and adding to this, Congress also faces another budget deadline, March 1st, that's to avoid a government shutdown.